Hey, 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 how is everybody? Ah, it is so warm and I'm so grateful for this beautiful weather and I'm even more grateful when my uh, <laughs> when my aircon's going to get fixed. So let's just manifest that. In the meantime, I don't know if I actually copied um, the title of today's episode. That's a bit silly, Willie. So let me, what's going on here? Well, I love how things go cray cray sometimes. I can't keep up with the times. No, of course I can. So Boss Queen TV, of course, you know, during the week, pretty much every day, it's all about right teaching you how to become the magnet so you get to manifest your most expensive life by not just understanding what your magic is because i help you find out what your magic is and then i help you become it so you know it just gets to be just amazing and yes of course you know that means we need to have a little bit of strategy we need to do the do and i'm all about doing the do right now i can't even like oh hang on let me share i forgot totally to put in the title of today's episode I'm all about doing the do people because literally Boss Queen um, Dynasty is starting and I've been up early, like I was up late last night finishing contents and chakra readings and then I got up super early this morning to do more chakra readings and have like uh, coaching, like mapping sessions, empire mapping sessions, whatever, with the queens in Germany and you know, so I'm all about doing the do, don't get me wrong and I have to say Considering I went to bed, I don't even know what time it was, but I know it was pretty late, um, probably 11, 30, 12 or something, and I got up at 4.44 this morning. I feel really fresh, I feel really good, and I'm really excited because, you know, it's not just about hustle, 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 I'm all for it, you know, I'm all for doing the do, uh, but at the same time, it's all about kicking back too, and after this, I'm going to go and get my hair did, so I'm excited, so here we go, episode 111, okay, no, 110, sorry, 110, spare me, spare me, uh, beliefs are just stories told by others who didn't know better, so why do you choose to believe them when you have the power to tell a new story, that is what I want to touch on today, that's the thought of the day, now, I want to just share this real briefly. I'm going to obviously add the uh, title later on. If you're tuning in at any point, say hello. If you're tuning in at a later point, hashtag replay, be my friend for sure. Let me know that you're watching this. And I just want to share this in one more group because I also need to know my beautiful manifestation queens. I'm running an additional masterclass next week. So let me pop that in there. Like, it's all happening. It's all cool. I, it's just so divine. I hope that you're really coming to the end of this year telling your own story, having created your own story, and if not, keep writing that story, okay, like, I know it's nothing, um, it's nothing, what's the word, it's nothing like, boom, mind-blowing, you know, as in like, oh, that's right, she's going to say that you can change your thoughts, and, you know, your, your thoughts change your reality, but I just want to remind you how incredibly powerful you really are, because I... Still, and I had this conversation that inspired me this morning with one of the queens in Germany who is incredibly, incredibly successful and still, she's like, I still feel I'm only scratching the surface because I feel like I need to not step out of the line because of my beliefs of don't ask for too much, don't be too loud, don't be too out there. And then she said, but you said something that really resonated with me. She's like, it's about the 1%, the 1% who are ready to lead that revolution, who be the rule breakers, who get to understand that they get to create it on their own terms. I'm like, yes, did I say that? <laughs> I was like, of course I said it. I say it all the time. And she's like, yeah, and that really spoke to me. So we had a cool conversation about that. And, and I guess that's really what inspired me to just share this with you again today. Understand that your thoughts create your reality. Like next level and super easy, but it's also next level awareness into then how do you go throughout your day every day? What, what language do you use? What do you say to yourself, to others? What language do you use as in like, do you need to get up early? Do you get to get up? Do you, are you, do you choose to get up, right? Do you, are you deciding to manifest or to create or to call it in? Or are you, I don't know, like it's just, I don't even know what examples right now because I'm so mindful of my, of my language. And I guess that's just something I'm always aware. And when I catch myself, you know, with this whole full moon, I, I caught myself last night, I was really triggered and I was like, 
fuck, I really don't mind speaking and creating content in English and in German. And I don't mind writing it even out in English, but I'm like, oh, it's really hard for me to write in German, which is so weird because German is my mother language. But I guess I'm so Englished nice, I don't know, uh, that sometimes like it, it just doesn't flow. And it was late and I was like, ah, oh, and I was just getting in that whole frustration. And I was like, hang on a second, you can completely get out of that. I right, get out of that and I put some tunes on and I was like what if I was to just let it all be easy because it's all in there already you just need to let it flow let it flow don't make such a fucking big deal about it and the thing is just look at how amazing you're gonna feel when it's all done because your queens are gonna fucking love it and I you know had this little chat myself it's such a simple example I'm not saying like I'm have it all figured out, right? I'm just saying, it's such a simple example of being aware, navigating through your thoughts, your energies, your emotions, your language, and to be able to move you out of anything and reframe and reinstate new energy, whatever you need to get the work done. But not just to get the work done, but also to live an amazing life and to keep manifesting amazing opportunities. Right? So I did it. I'm so happy when I get to my hairdressers. I'm so, so happy. I'm such a diva these days when it gets to like, I don't know, my hair and so many other things. Anyway, I've probably always been a diva, but you know. Um, you know, I, um, that's such a simple example. So I, I did it. I had this conversation with myself and I was like, what if you just chose to let it be all easy? What if you chose to not just make it a big deal? And what if I chose to just have fun with it? And at the end of today, it's getting done and it's getting done. And then, and then I looked and said, like, actually, it's not, it's not that bad. And then when I recorded the training, the actual audio training, I even said to the queens, I said, listen, don't be like this grammatic Nazi, like Joe, because, you know, um, and I'm allowed to do that. I'm German. Um, or the grammatic police, right? Um, I said, my, my written German, for some reason, I think it's not that immaculate. It's not perfect. I don't even think my English writing's perfect. And then I thought... And I said in that recording, I was like, so don't be, you know, don't be like reading it for, oh, you got to put a, a comma here or, you know, semicolon or whatever you call it. And, and, and that grammatically, you know, and I was like, cause the thing is you get the gist of it. You will understand everything I'm saying. Cause the energy and the words and the context and everything, it makes sense. And I laughed. And then I spoke to my client this morning and she's, she is German. And she said, Oh my God, I'm the same. Like my spelling, my writing is just not as great as my speaking and I was like well yeah that's probably why you're in my tribe too because I'm all about the speaking and I find it's like so much easier and yet so many more women struggle with it so I'm so happy to teach you how to fully express and how to speak so easily and effortlessly and deliver it in a way that feels so amazing and authentic right so anyhow Long story, kind of went off the tantrum. Uh, I just need you to have that reminder today that, you know, I hope that you go through, I don't want you to go through your life with like a fucking, like, to, like a, a, what is it, a hair comb or like a toothpick and just be like, ooh, you know, ooh, what this thought, you know, like, no, but just have like a genuine awareness and you'll know. Like, if you feel fucking amazing, and you're feeling a flow, super flow, flow, whatever, like, you're feeling in a state of absolute expansion and gratitude, you know, you'll know, you'll know, and things will flow accordingly, absolutely, and it, and, and it really gets to be easy, and it gets to be fun, and it doesn't mean that you don't, um, not necessarily do the do, you still got to do the do, and, you know, get to create, and get to expand, and get to challenge, and learn new things, and all that sort of stuff, but overall, you know, you know, right, like, this doesn't lie. It feels great. Like, this is not fake. It's me happy and content, super, super, super in alignment with, you know, every element, really enjoying. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, like, there's going to be different phases again, and I've shared them, you know, where you're just going to go through new growth, you know, growth circles and that sort of stuff. But beyond that, it's about you. I, I, I would love you to have this awareness. If you're not in flow, you're in resistance that's that's it if you're not in love you're in fear if you're not receiving you're resisting that's it if you're not manifesting you're blocking it so it's almost like well you either are co-creating with the universe or you're blocking it and your thoughts are just so incredibly powerful 
in navigating your way through this manifestation creation. Because your thought leads to an emotion, your emotion will lead to a reaction, your reaction will lead to some sort of action, your action will, be, will lead to some sort of behavior, your behavior over time becomes a part of your identity, and your identity creates your reality, co-creates your reality. Do you get that? And I'm sure you've heard of it, like, I feel like everybody's doing NLP, by the way, at the moment. I feel like everyone is going through NLP, so you definitely know that. Thoughts create your reality. It's nothing new as such, that's what I'm saying. But, fuck, how many other things do we need to hear over and over and over and over and over again before we get them? How many other things do we need to, like, hear and go, oh, and then all of a sudden we hear that one time, and you go, oh, oh, boom, I'm getting it, a uh-huh, heart penny drop moment. Boom, light bulb moment, right? So that's that's all, that's all. I just want you to understand how incredibly powerful you are and just give you this gift of awareness today to check in with your thoughts. Are you, are you allowing to just be in the moment, allowing to just truly go with the flow and, and co-create and, and do your best and put your best foot forward and do it from a space of love and you know excitement and gratitude and joy and do you get to just live your best life, be the best person, and make a fucking massive you know, difference in the world today, on your terms, of course, or are you perhaps feeling a little bit constricted? Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe you're feeling a little stressed, maybe a little tired, anxious, whatever it is. I want you to check in with yourself and understand that it, it, a thought caused that, okay? That's something you're hanging on to, that you're thinking about, that is obviously blocking your mind. And I want you to tune in and I wanted to see if you could perhaps release that today because it will come down to a story that you've told yourself and I want you to understand that you have this incredible power to change that story, even right in this very moment because you get to choose differently. So what story are you going to choose today? And, and how can you then emphasize that story and, and write you know, that next chapter of that story right now? Right, so I want you to really tune into that. Uh, it's an incredible gift, an incredible gift to know that you have this incredible power of yourself, that you get to choose your thoughts, that you get to change your beliefs, that you get to tap into this and do the work every day, and then co-create your most expansive life available to you. And it gets to be better and better and better because the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. Okay, and that's all I want to share with you today. And uh, based on that, obviously. Last call, tomorrow I'm closing the door, Thursday. Thursday, I am closing the doors to Boss Queen Dynasty. Seven spots are still left. So if you wanted to jump off the fence, then this is the time to do it. It's your boarding call. Boom, we're taking off. We're taking off into your own six-figure empire where we're bringing all the beautiful elements together. Uh, I will read your chakra. Like, I'm having so much fun with the chakra readings. I'm like, oh, incredibly. So connected and so grateful. Like, it literally blows my mind sometimes. So you get a beautiful energy, chakra reading, um, healing, and activation. So we energetically open yourself up to really truly become this person. Obviously we'll look at the mindset, um, we'll do the money work, and then we, we lay the foundation, right? We have a, a private one-on-one -on -one empire session where we map out the entire empire, messaging, positioning, what do you stand for? How do you want your business to feel? How do you want it to look like? And then we literally put all the pieces in, uh, into place and we'll focus a lot on you know, sh how to show up, how to show up online, how to show up as a fullest expression, how to be yourself, how to speak your truth, how to sell and make it so like divine and amazing. What are you doing up? That is crazy, right? Um, speaking your truth, like I said, Allah, what else? Serving, how to serve, how to create um, and share, share, share even more. And I guess ultimately, how to shine your light in doing that. Shining your light, being you, and knowing that that is more than good enough to call in the right people, opportunities, resources, experiences into your life that allows you to live your most expansive life, your most amazing life. That is what I do. I help you, as I said, I help you find, rediscover, remember, if you want to even go that far, what your magic is, and then I help you become it. And when you become the magic, honest, honest to God, honest to universe, honest to every everything on this planet, everything I stand for, everything I believe in, everything I know is possible, you truly get to manifest your most amazing life, okay? Um, and it's not even just about the money, it's everything around, okay? And, and, and coming from a place of joy, gratitude, all the amazing stuff. So that's me. 
send me a message if you want to grab one of those spots. I'd be delighted to create that magic with you and take you on that magic couple ride. You need to just hit me up, send me a message or comment below with I am ready and then you will get the full overview. You even get to hear an audio I put together, excuse me, an audio I put together um, and you get to feel because remember don't make, don't make decisions with your mind. Don't be driven by fear, but trust your gut. That's your heart. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Trust your heart, right? Uh, it's very much about doing what it takes right now to ensure an incredible, prosperous, and abundant 2020. So exciting. Um, so it's hit me up. And that's it for my end. Sending you so much love into this beautiful day. Let's manifest that aircon getting fixed ASAP. And I'm going to have an amazing time getting my hair did. Get my head in. And you, beautiful soul, have this awareness today, okay? And uh, share with me what comes up. Let me know if I can support you uh, leading into Boss Queen Dynasty, but you have to hurry. Tomorrow, we're cutting the doors. And of course, remember, in order to manifest the magic, you've got to become the magic yourself first. But the good news is that permission to be, do, and have it all on your own terms has already been granted.